This episode of D News is brought to you by Domain.com. Ibuprofen, it's good for a headache, but can it help with social rejection? A new study says yes, it can, but only if you're a woman. Sorry, guys. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and we've all taken ibuprofen, right? It's a pretty standard pain reliever, but a new study from the University of Texas at Austin says it can also affect our emotional status, and depending on your gender, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. This study involved 138 men and women, half of whom took 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, while the other half took a placebo. In the first part of the experiment, participants were instructed to play a virtual ball tossing game on a computer, but at some point during the game, they were intentionally socially excluded from the game. Afterwards, they were asked to rate how they felt about being excluded. Then, during the second part of the experiment, they were asked to write two detailed descriptions, the first being a situation where they experienced betrayal in a close relationship, and the second, a situation where they experienced physical pain. And once again, they were asked to rate their emotions afterwards. As it turns out, women who took ibuprofen were less hurt by being excluded from the game and by reliving a painful experience than men, and in fact, the men who took ibuprofen actually experienced a harsher reaction to rejection than men who only took a placebo. So in effect, ibuprofen makes women feel better about being rejected, while for men, it seems to do the opposite. Their feelings actually get more hurt. But how could this possibly be? I mean, we've all been conditioned to believe that emotional pain is totally separate from physical pain. But it turns out that may not be true. Recent studies have found that physical pain and emotional pain activate very similar regions in the brain. And in a man's brain, Specifically, evidence suggests that the part of their brain responsible for regulating emotions is also linked to the part that processes physical and social pain. According to the author of the study, Dr. Anita Evangelisti, if that is indeed true, then it's possible that taking physical pain relievers provides men with more cognitive resources to express the pain they feel. But what about women? Is there something specific in our brains that makes us feel differently? It's hard to say exactly what's at work here, but there have been other studies on different kinds of pain meds, like a acetaminophen, showing that it can reduce anxiety in people of both genders. In any case, Evangelisti hopes her study will at least allow men and women to better help each other deal with hurt feelings. And future studies, she says, could have interesting implications for children as well. If the same findings hold true for kids, then it could help them address differences in the way they respond to things like bullying and other socially painful situations. What do you guys think? Have you ever noticed a change in your emotional state after taking ibuprofen or any pain reliever? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.